Today we're going to talk about the subcutaneous parenteral. What does subcutaneous mean? Actually it's the third layer of your skin and it's your fatty tissue. And the only difference between the subcutaneous injection and the intramuscular injection is that the angles are a lot different. Intramuscular, 90 degree angle, subcutaneous is given at a 45 degree angle. And a parenteral basically means by way of injection. So you can say injection or parenteral. Now you know what they both mean. What you need to use for a subcutaneous injection would be your most common 25 gauge, five inch syringe with the needle attached safety lock. You would need your bandage, alcohol prep, your medication, in this case we're using sterile water, Emerson basins for your trash, your gauze or cotton balls, your gloves, whether they're latex or vinyl, figure out if your patient is allergic to latex, and of course your sharps container nearby. I bet you're wondering how come we give a subcutaneous injection opposed to an intramuscular injection. Well, I'm going to tell you why. A subcutaneous injection is designed to be broken down into the fatty tissue. Some medications can only be broken down into fatty tissue. Another key element is that the rate of absorption is much slower than in an intramuscular injection. And plus, some medication can irritate and discolor the skin. So if it's given in the fatty tissue, the fat actually devours it so it doesn't come up to the surface of the skin and irritate you. Lovenox and blood thinners, things like that, are given subcutaneous. Insulin is also given subcutaneous. And it depends on the insulin, it depends on the medication as to how quickly it disperses. Pop the top. Let's go ahead and wipe to dis disinfect any contamination, even though it's brand new. All right. We let that air dry. Make sure that your needle and hub is twisted in correctly, not loose. Remove the air. We're going to inject 0 0.5. Okay. Go ahead and remove your cap. Let's try. Insert the needle. We want to push the air in and withdraw at eye level. So you're going to withdraw by pulling back on the plunger. 0.5. Remove any air bubbles. Withdraw. Use the one scoop method. So that way you can prevent any injuries from a needle stick. First we start off by locating the site. Okay, the site is usually the fatty part of the back of the arm. You can actually give it on the side of the arm as well. As you see, I have illustrated here. You can go on the back of the arm at a 45 degree angle or the side of the arm. And there are several different sites you can actually give a subcutaneous injection. You can go on the abdomen, your back area, but the most common site is the back of the arm. The fatty adipose part of the arm. And so to measure, I always go one hand links down and I just give a little peace sign. And that way we know this area right here is where we're going to go. Next, we wanna cleanse the site. And you always cleanse the site in a circular motion. You start from the center, work your way out. You wanna bring the germs outward. And we're getting our little microbes off the skin. We're gonna squeeze the adipose tissue, which is the back of the arm. And it's just to create mass around the needle to help facilitate it so it doesn't hurt so much. You're going to insert at a 45 degree angle. Opposed to a 90 degree angle with the intramuscular injection. Because if you go at a 90 degree, you're gonna hit muscle. And we don't wanna hit muscle. We just want fatty tissue and I have the bevel up, and the bevel is up, and we're going to bury this into the tissue, 
And we want to, the second we go in, we want to anchor. Inject. So after we've inserted our needle at a 45 degree angle, we're going to aspirate. Aspirate, make sure there's no blood in the hilt. Aspiration is pulling back on the plunger of the syringe to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel. Aspirating and to make sure we're not into a vein. So if you actually do see blood in the barrel of the syringe, you want to abort the emission as soon as possible. And then we inject the medication and we come out. You want to push your medication. Not too fast, not too slow. Inject, release, and wipe with the gauze. Pull the safety immediately and discard into the sharps container, ASAP. Take our sheath and we're going over the needle and we discard into the sharps container. And put on the band-aid. After that, we need to assess the patient for any allergic reactions they may have had or signs of syncope, which is fainting. Then after you've done all of these steps, make sure you document accordingly. Document the medication given, the expiration date, and which arm that you've actually given it into. Documentation is key. Remember, if it wasn't documented, it never happened. So now you know how to do a subcutaneous parenteral. You've been great. <laughs>